Welcome back. Now you'll notice that we have the drawing menu and that is what we will cover in this video in addition to one additional area which you will see once you are signed into your PowerPoint application. Now if we were to insert a particular slide and we were to insert a content slide, one of the things that we can do is to insert shapes. So for example, we can insert any of these shapes that will allow us to either manipulate the shape or to write inside of the shape. So for example, you'll notice that we have a text box here. You'll notice that we have a rectangle, circle, and other shapes. Now what is interesting about the shapes is that if we were to place a shape inside of this area, what we would do is you'll see that there is a cross there and we would take our cursor and we would draw the shape. That would then give us a shape to draw in. Then what we would do is we would then take our cursor and we can click inside of any of the font area. Now in this case we've chosen to click bold, we've unbolded it and what we can do is we can now write text inside of this area. So for example if we were to write in we can write text inside of the shape. And if we can highlight this text, we can change the nature of that text by using our menu. So for example, we can change the color of that text. We can change the font of that text. We can change the text to bold and we can change the text to italics. So basically we can write inside of our shape and we can create our text to fit what we are trying to do. And of course, if we don't want the shape there, we can click the outline of the entire shape. We can click delete and the entire shape would delete. So we are basically inserting a shape inside of our PowerPoint presentation and we can control the nature of that shape as well as the size of that shape. And you'll notice that the shapes fall into different categories. So for example, if you want shapes associated with a flowchart, shapes associated with stars and banners, shapes associated with callouts. So for example, if we wanted to have a speech bubble, we would click the speech bubble shape and then we would draw our speech bubble and we can draw it to the size that we want it to. We can then click any of the text buttons. You'll see your cursor there. You can then, if you didn't want it to be bold, you can take the bold out and you can then begin to write. And you'll see that shape. And once again, if we don't like the shape, we can change the nature of the shape or we can change the nature of what's inside of the shape or we can get rid of the shape altogether by clicking on the shape and clicking delete. PowerPoint offers quick styles of shapes. So you'll see here that some are colored in the areas that we want them to be. And if we hover over them, we'll be able to see exactly what they're going to look like. We can decide that we want the shape to be filled in a certain way. So we can change the color of that fill. We can change the outline of that shape. So if we want to add in a border, we can do that change the color of the border. We can change the nature of it. We can also change the effect of the shape. So for example, if we want there to be a shadow, we can do that by going inside of this area. So we can either do this with the text box or we can drop a shape inside of the area and we can change the nature of that shape. And of course, if you don't like what you've done and you want to start over, you can click the outline of the shape, click delete, and it will disappear altogether. Now, one other menu item that you will see is that you will see a dictate command in PowerPoint 2016. And if you click on this microphone, when you first use dictate for the first time, what you're doing when you click on intelligent services is that you're giving Microsoft the permission to look at your other content 
so that it can make better guesses as to what you're trying to say when you are dictating to your document. And when you are ready to begin dictation, you can click turn on. Now again, now in order to use dictation, you are going to need to be signed in to your Microsoft account. So what we're going to do now is we're going to click the dictation mic and we'll choose the language that we're going to be working in. In this case, we're going to choose English from the United States. And then we'll click dictate. Now is the time for all good men to come to the aid of their country. Now to get more assistance on how to use dictate, all you'll need to do is to go to this drop down arrow You'll need to click then tell me more and then the dialog box will open up directly into the dictate submenu. Okay, so with that, thanks and I will see you in another video.